advocate Shruti V. Welcome again to my presentation on topic Biodiversity and Traditional Knowledge in Intellectual Property Rights. Yesterday we had uh, viewed and discussed what is biodiversity, what is traditional knowledge, international regulatory framework on role of IPR on biodiversity and traditional knowledge and traditional knowledge on biodiversity conservation. Today, starting with national level regulatory framework on role of IPR on biodiversity and traditional knowledge. First, Biological Diversity Act 2002. India has enacted the Biological Diversity Act 2002, which provides that prior approval of National Biodiversity Authority is necessary before applying for any kind of intellectual property rights based on any research or information on a biological resources obtained from India. This act was passed by the Lok Sabha on 2nd December 2002 and Rajya Sabha on 11th December 2002. The biological diversity as federal legislation was a mere attempt of India to uphold the objective put forth by the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity, that is CBD, in 1992, giving immense importance to the right of a state over its resources. A three-tiered structure at national, state and local level is to be established. On the basis of uh, CBD, India enacted Biologi Biological Diversity Act 2002. Uh, then, uh, it is enacted uh, on the basis of this act there is a three tier of uh, regulatory framework that is first one is national biodiversity authority that is nba under section 2 close j the headquarters of uh, national biodiversity authority is situated in chennai all matters relating to request for access by foreign individuals institutions or companies and all matters relating to transfer of results of research to any foreigner will be deals with by the MBA. Then State Biodiversity Boards SBB under Section 2 Clause N. All matters relating to access by Indians for commercial purpose will be under the purview of the State Biodiversity Boards. The Indian industry will be required to provide prior intimation to the concerned SBB about the use of biological resources. The state board will have the power to restrict any such activity which violates the objectives of conservation, sustainable use and equitable sharing of benefits which are derived from the biological resources. Then local committee that is Biodiversity Management Committee BMCS. Institutions of local self-government will be required to set up biodiversity management committees in their respective areas for conservation, sustainable use, documentation of biodiversity and chronicling of knowledge relating to biodiversity and traditional knowledge. Chronicling means record, that's the meaning of chronicling and NB and SBBs are required to consult the concerned BMCS on matters related to use of biological resources and associated knowledge within their jurisdiction. Then next slide consists of important provisions and functions under Biological Diversity Act 2002. Section 2 Clause J defines National Biodiversity Authority. Then Section 2 Clause N contains what is State Biodiversity Board. Then Section 8, Establishment of NBA. Section 18, Functions and Powers of NBA. Section 22, Establishment of <coughs> State Biodiversity Board. Section 23 consists Functions and Powers of State Biodiversity Board. Then Functions of National Biodiversity Authority. Regulations of Acts prohibited under the Act advise the government on conservation of biodiversity advise the government on selection of biological heritage sites take appropriate steps to oppose grant of intellectual property rights in foreign countries arising from the use of biological resources or associated traditional knowledge section 19 of the act puts forth that any person wanting to obtain any biological resource originating in india or information relating to it for research or for commercial purposes are required to make an application and payment of prescribed fees. 
As per section 19 clause 2, any person applying for patent or intellectual property protection, whether in India or outside India, based on any invention, research, knowledge or study originating in India, have to make an application to the Biodiversity Authority and wait for its approval. It is an important part that is section 19 clause 2. Procedure for uh, giving the approval for the uh, biodiversity uh, uh, related certificates then next point is functions of state biodiversity board state biodiversity board advises the state government according to any guidelines issued by the central government on matters relating to the conservation of biodiversity sustainable use of its components and benefit sharing the state biodiversity board performs functions as required by the act or prescribed by the state government then the next slide deals with offenses and penalties offenses punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to three years or with fine which may extend to five lakh rupees or both if contravening the section seven of the act if any citizen of India, excluding Vaidyas and Hakims who are practicing indigenous medicine, acquires any biological resources for commercial utilization or biosurvey without giving prior notification to the state biodiversity. Here, uh, indigenous means all of you know the Tadeshiya Maya, Marunugal, and Dakuna Hakims and Down, Vaidyas and Down. Avrika either your section excluded Ananan Paranada. Otherwise, oh, any citizen of India uh, practicing uh, indigenous medicine acquires any biological resources for commercial utilization or biosurvey without giving prior notification to the state biodiversity should be faced with these uh, penalties. And second point, contravening section 24 sub subsection close 1, if any citizen of India or a corporate organization registered in India aims to undertake any activity of obtaining biological resources for commercial work and does not give prior intimation as is prescribed by the state government to the state biodiversity board. Offense punishable with imprisonment for term which may extend to 5 years or fine which may extend to 10 years lakh rupees or both if in contravention to the provisions of section 3 if a non-indian an indian or corporate body with foreign participation initiates biodiversity related activities without prior approval of the national biodiversity authority and in contravention to the provisions of section 4 any person whether a citizen or not delivers results of any research related to any biological resources for monetary gain to a non-indian then in contravention to the provisions of section 6 any person making an application for an ipr of an invention based on any research on a biological resources obtained from india without previous approval of the nba that are the punishments given under this act then what is the legal protection of traditional knowledge in india there was a case that neem patent controversy in india after neem patent controversy the need to protect the tra traditional knowledge of india has gained importance what is neem patent controversy uh, neem patent controversy in 1995 the european patent office that is epo granted a patent on antifungal product derived from neem to the u.s department of agriculture and multinational wr grace and company the indian government challenged the patent when it was granted claiming that process for which the patent had been granted has actually been used in india for over 2000 years in 2000 the epo ruled in india's favor but the u.s multinational company mounted an appeal claiming that prior art about the products had never been published in a scientific journal on march 8 2005 the appeal was lost and epo revoked the name patent rights and keeping that free from free out from the these patent restriction in this case all of you know that a uh, name is a uh, uh, name is a very uh, ritually or culturally very intimate to the indians people so 
for uh, yes and yes we are our the pioneers are using this name for as medicines and their day to day lives so in this case uh, after this uh, knowledge the U, uh, epo uh, ruled and uh, uh, said that th this right is revoked and uh, held that the name patent uh, name is uh, excluded for, from all patent rights and free of that tree from the patent restriction so now uh, till now the name uh, name tree is uh, ex accepted from all these patent rights the current ipr system cannot protect traditional knowledge for three reasons first the current system seeks to privatize ownership and is designed to be held by individuals or corporations whereas traditional knowledge has collective ownership second this protection is time bound whereas traditional knowledge is held in perpetuity from generation to generation third it adopts restricted interpretation of invention which should satisfy the criteria of novelty and be capable of industrial application whereas traditional innovation is incremental informal and of course over in time these are the three points then protection of traditional knowledge under patent law section 3 clause p of the patent act mentioned that traditional knowledge shall not consider as an invention or an innovative idea india has been taken an initial step to publish all the tk by an e library and such as a library is called traditional knowledge digital library that is tk dl and the protection of a traditional knowledge under copyright law Indian copyright law do not provide any protection to TK of indigenous people. Reasons: First one is authorship. Under the Indian copyright law, protection is given to the author or owner of the work. TK is a community on to generation. In such a case, tracing the author of the TK is not difficult but almost impossible. Then uh, next one is fixed form to protect any work. with copyright under the indian law it is required that the work must be present in a tangible form fixed form of tk is hard to find out traditional knowledge is passed over generation in a community in form of stories third point is protection of for limited time indian copyright act is giving protection for a particular period of 60 years traditional knowledge is imperative and it should have been perpetual protection rather than limited protection that traditional knowledge is eternal there is no any end so there is a perpetuity so it is very impossible that are the three points related to what is the condition of traditional knowledge under copyright law then what are the threats facing by this uh, uh this area that is uh, first point is Uh, bio prospecting and second word is bio piracy bio prospecting and bio piracy are significant threats to biodiversity and related traditional knowledge But bio prospecting is the exploitation of commercially valued biological resources it is the search for useful organic compounds found in the extreme environments such as rain forest deserts and hot springs in microorganisms plants and fungi for an example the opium poppy is used for morphine a powerful pain reliever the potential problem with bio prospecting resource around conservation how can we ensure that the search for and utilization of biological resources for our benefit does not result in great harm to nature then bio piracy what is bio piracy it means the use of bio resources by the multinational companies and other organizations without any systematic approval from a nation or its related people without any compensatory payment it is defined as the theft of various natural products bio piracy can be characterized as a entitlement to patent gaining monopoly rights over consumer goods based on biological resources or conventional knowledge without the approval 
acknowledgement and reasonable compensation of the legitimate owners of biological resources and related information. For an example, a strain of Basmati rice was patented by Texas based company Rice Tech Inc. with trade name Texmati. Here, uh, bioprospective means it is an exploitation of biological resources for a commercial purpose and uh, biopiracy is the uh, using of bioresources by the multinational company without the consent of government authority. That is the meaning of these two threats facing by the uh, this uh, traditional knowledge and uh, both intellectual property right regime also and also our biological resources. Then moving to next point that is uh, cases. In the, in the case of Environment Support Group versus National Biodiversity Authority, an appeal was made to declare Section 40 of the Biological Diversity Act 2002 illegal and unconstitutional as serious prejudice was likely to be caused which could cause jeopardy to the national interest and biodiversity certain species. It wanted to draw the attention of authorities towards public agricultural universities and indulging in criminal biopiracy of local varieties of eggplant. The High Court of Karnataka dismissed the petitions and quashed the criminal pro uh, prospection of the respondents who had been accused of serious criminal acts of biopiracy by the National Biodiversity Authority and Karnataka State Bi Biodiversity Board. Uh, Section 40 of the Biodiversity Act 2002 explains power of central government to exempt certain biological resources. Second case is Kolwa Lake Field, Goa. An application filed by the Kolwa Civic and Consumer Forum to Goa State Biodiversity Board to protect low-lying fields in Kolwa Lake located opposite to the Kolwa Church. The Goa State Biodiversity Board has issued direction prohibiting the reclamation of the fields. On the basis of inspection report, Goa SBB held that the reclamation of the plot could interfere with the hydrodynamics and may also result in habitat loss for seasonal biodiversity. Then soil oil extraction case in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, Section 7 and 57 Biodiversity Act 2002. Madhya Pradesh SBB held that according to the provisions of the Act, shall all extracting companies to register themselves with their state biodiversity boards and share 2% of their income for environmental protection. Section 7 of the Biodiversity Act 2002 defines no person who is a citizen of India or a body corporate association or organization which is registered in India shall obtain any biological resource for any commercial utilization or biosurvey and biotilization for commercial utilization except after giving prior intimation of SBB. These provisions shall not apply to the local people and communities of the area. Section 57 explains that offenses by the companies. Then moving to the conclusion part, protecting biodiversity is essential for ensuring a sustainable society where humans can utilize resources derived from the nature without a uh, uh, disappropriately harming it. The role of IPR is highly significant in strengthening the local communities and traditional dwellers who are the real custodians of the resource and knowledge derived from biodiversity. People-friendly IPR regime will efficiently protect the indigenous people from the commercial exploitation. Then next slide contains bibliography and then MCQ. First question is, which of the following statements is incorrect? First option, TK is distinctly associated with an indigenous or local community which preserves and transmits it from generation to generation. Second point is, TK is old and static. Third point, TK is generated, preserved and transmitted in a traditional and intergenerational context. Then fourth, TK is not limited to any specific technical field? The answer is option B. 
TK is odd and static. That is incorrect. Second question is, which of the following statement related to genetic resources are correct? First option, examples of GR is a include is include medicinal plants, agricultural crops and animal breeds. Second, GR are intellectual property. Third, invention based on or developed using GRs and associated TK are eligible for protection through the IPR system. For GRs are subject to access and benefit sharing regulations. The answer option 1, 3 and 4. Third question is which of the following statements is incorrect? First one, sewer generous measures are specialized measures aimed at addressing characteristics of specific subject matter. Second, TK is not often fully protected by existing IPR system. C. A number of countries and regions have developed their own distinct sewer generous IPR system for the protection of TK. The adoption of a national or regional sewer generous IPR framework is incompatible with that of an international system of protection of traditional knowledge. Answer is option D. Then, then I I also give the explanation of the term sewer generous because this question is related to that. Sewer generous means uh, we already uh, discussed it in the yesterday class. Again, I am telling this sewer generous measures are specialized measures and exclusively at addressing the characteristic specific subject matter such as traditional knowledge. What makes an intellectual property system as sewer generous? One is molding of its features to properly accommodate special special characteristics and specific policy needs. Example, uh, medic medicinal purpose, tablets, that are the examples. This slide consists all uh, copyright details about the pictures I used in this presentation. Those are uh, those are protected by the uh, this uh, copyright, and I legally used all of these pictures. Thank you, LJRF, for giving me such an opportunity. Thank you all. Uh, different news reported in the Hindu which I, I consider it has a constitutional importance. And the second uh, issue reported by this uh, Hindu, uh, which is I think is a constitutional